So now in the second level of training, what we are going to learn is we are going to do keyword research for search term for phrase exact divide into top of search and product page placements. Then we are going to do keyword harvesting for running campaigns in broad match type. Then we are also going to do is all your standard operating procedures for week one, all the, all the normal SOPs that you have to do in week one, we are going to cover that because we have left that week one, week two. Okay. And we are going to fill that. So first, what we are going to do is we are going to go to brand analytics to do the research for broad, uh, sorry, the phrase and exact campaigns. So we are going to find the search term to run phrase and exact match campaigns. Then we are going to do a reverse AI science search to get keywords. Then we are going to, uh, that we are going to run as broad match campaigns. So for search term research, let's take example of this vacuum storage bags. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to obviously select six to 10 top sellers. So I have selected this four and then this top sellers based on their BSRs. I've already selected those. Okay. I have copied their A signs. These are the A signs I've copied. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this A signs. These are total 10 A signs. Now I'm going to paste in brand analytics. So come into brand analytics, paste all the A signs here. And then change it to either monthly or weekly. Okay. Monthly or uh, quarterly, not weekly. Sorry. Now it will provide you all the search term for which these bags are ranked and it do not provide you all the search terms. It provide you all those which are in good rank. So if it is getting monthly more than 10 searches, it shows here according to my data that we have seen. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it. So I have already downloaded it. Now I'm going to just show it to you by uploading it on a sheet. Okay. Let me just upload it in a sheet. So I have uploaded it in our sheet. Now we don't need few columns here. Like the first one, or you don't need it. The department one, we don't need it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply filter here. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and then I'm going to add conditional formatting because we want to see that which a sign is dominating. That means which a sign is ranked for maximum of the search term. Now, what you have to do is copy the first a sign from the list. And since we have selected all this a to n column. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to take the first ASN and search here. Okay. So do conditional formatting. This page will come now. It will show you, uh, for what search terms, these are actually getting, uh, showing the click share. Okay. That is getting click. Now I'm going to make it a color so that it is easier for understanding. I'm also going to add another rule here. So it will be the second ASN. and I'm also going to see how many search terms the second ASN is ranking for. So there is, it looks like no second A science. Uh, let's add another one. It may happen. I mistakenly choose newly launched product. Then the fourth one. I'll show you six A signs just to be uh, precise and uh, not waste your time. This is the last A sign we are going to select. So I have to basically add it. That means it will be easier for us to understand when we see colors, it will be easier for us to understand. Okay. This is how many, uh, so, so clearly. What you can see is this yellow one is actually mostly everywhere. Okay. Mostly everywhere. This yellow one is mostly everywhere. Okay. Now there are a few things to do. Okay. Now, if you see a lot of yellow ones are there. Okay. Like if you can see here, it is ranking for this one plus this one, a lot of search terms it is getting ranked for, right? 
it is getting ranked for a lot of search term a lot of them so now uh, since you have seen that yellow are the most so it is getting ranked for this search term then uh, this search term as well it is on the third position this search term this search term this one this one this one that means this one this one this one this one so maximum of the search term it is within the top 3 searched asin so next what we are going to do is we are going to only select those search terms for which this one is ranked since this is ranked for maximum of the search term so it is quite obvious that they are the top seller in that market so i am going to take the search term from the top seller obviously so now what we are going to do is we are going to only select this one and identify the search term so let's just create a new sheet and then come back to this one uh, so first we are going to short by this one uh, fill color yellow we are going to take this search terms put it here then again we are going to deselect this one uh, then we are going to come to here we are going to select the condition so this was then the third one as well so we don't want a lot of search terms right because we have to create a lot of campaigns at the initial stage this is not a keyword harvesting campaign this is a ranking campaign that we are going to do that is why we are not pushing it with a lot of search terms you can take other other uh, computer search term as well but it is not necessary at this point of time so now you can see that we have got total 17 search terms that we are going to target in our phase match and exact match campaigns divided in top of the search product page so this is how you identify search terms from